Welcome to Safe Build, where thinking about job safety and the environment happened. In this section, we will demonstrate the proper installation methods and maintenance for your Safe Build exterior temporary safety system. Safe Build's exterior temporary safety system post has been designed and tested for use by framing carpenters and is to be installed on solid wood along the perimeter of the work surfaces that may present a risk of falling during construction. The exterior temporary safety system has been tested and is proven to withstand required loads only when using fasteners listed in the instruction manual. Failure to follow the instructions may void any warranty for compliance. It is recommended that the manual provided be kept readily available as an important reference when using the exterior temporary safety system. Each time a guardrail system is installed, it is important to ensure that all appropriate safety equipment is used to protect the worker from injury that could result prior to the guardrail system being completely installed. This equipment may consist of a body harness and lanyard, safety glasses, gloves, and boots. Safe build safety systems are designed and tested to meet the requirements of specific applications. Failure to follow the detailed guide for use could result in serious injury, bodily harm, or death. Before installing any guardrail system, you must inspect each component for signs of cracked or broken welds. If a cracked or broken weld is found, do not use the component as it is highly likely that it could fail and cause injury. The mounting plate for the exterior temporary safety system is affixed to the constructed first floor wall or higher along the top plate of the wall using at least six 3-inch bright spiral nails prior to the wall being erected. Based on a 6-inch overlap pass post on either side of standard 2x4x8 by by foot dimensional lumber. Be sure that each mounting plate is no more than 84 inches away from another mounting plate. A mounting plate must be placed at both ends of each wall section. Completed installation of safety system, including 2x4 and post, can be done before or after walls are erected. The posts are set into the mounting plates by sliding the mating piece onto the post into the slot on the mounting plate. If the posts are being installed prior to erecting the wall section, it is necessary to affix each post to the wall section by using minimum number 8 1 and 1 quarter inch wood screws full thread or nails through the slots on the bracket located at the bottom of each post. The screws should be set snug but not so tight that the post will not be able to slide out if needed after the wall section is erected. This may require organization of mounting plate locations across the top of the wall section so that one fastener on each bracket is into a wall stud. To complete the installation of the exterior temporary safety system after the wall section is erected, Simply lock the posts into place by inserting the mating piece on the post into the slot on the mounting plate. Finish the railing off by inserting 2x4x8 by by foot dimensional lumber into the lower cradle bracket across two posts. Repeat for middle and upper cradle bracket forming a completed section of safety system. Overlap dimensional lumber at each post 6 inches or more. Use 2 inch by 4 inch by 6 inch blocks at each end post to secure the dimensional lumber in the cradle bracket. Be sure that a post is installed at both ends of every open edge and that each post be no more than 84 inches apart from another post or ensuring that there be a minimum of 6 inches overlap past each post. To disassemble your exterior temporary safety system for deliveries or final removal, simply remove the dimensional lumber from the cradle brackets for the desired section of railing. Make sure that when working near a section of safety railing that has been removed permanently or temporarily that proper fall arrest equipment is used. At this point, you would be ready for material delivery. After the material is safely delivered to the work area, be sure to reinstall all components that have been removed. Upon final removal of the guardrail system, after removing all dimensional lumber, remove the desired posts from their corresponding mounting plates by pulling in an upward direction. The mounting plates can be left on the house or can be removed by carefully placing a pry bar between the wall and the mounting plate, separating the plate from the wall. Thank you for using Safe Build Guardrail Systems. Our goal is to keep you safe.